This beautiful valley known as Arzignano is located in the province of Vicenza, Italy. One hour west of Venice and one hour east of Verona. In this valley there are over 250 tanning facilities that specialize in the different stages of the tanning process. The first step is the arrival of the hides to the tannery from the various packing houses. The hides are inspected to check the quality, trim and weight. All leather hides are a byproduct of the meat industry, meaning we only use what would have otherwise been discarded. After inspection, the next step is the tanning process, which is done in large drums. The hides are first thrown into the drums, which start slowly turning to soak and wash them, followed by the deliming and the dehairing steps. When this step is complete, the hides will be free of hair and ready to be tanned. The hides are first removed from the drums to be fleshed and trimmed. In this stage, the excess fat from the back of the skins is removed. The hides are then trimmed. Excess fat and trim is recycled into many products, including biofuels and gelatin for food consumption. Skins are now ready to go back into the drums for the tanning process. This process will take about a day and converts the skins into a stable material with the help of chrome and liqueurs, so that when dried the leather will not putrefy and it will remain flexible. Once removed from the drums, the skins will be in the wet blue stage. The hides will then rest for another day before they continue on their tanning journey. In this valley, the sewage treatment plant is connected to over 160 tanneries. Dedicated sewage lines are used to discharge wastewater directly to the facility. The solid waste is then treated with microorganisms to disintegrate the pollutants in it. What's interesting is the early stages of the purification take place in sealed tanks to block the leakage of odors, which are then aspirated and processed into sulfur for agriculture. The treatment facility is used solely for tannery water treatment and has a capacity equivalent to a city of 1.5 million inhabitants. As you can see, our tanneries coexist side by side with many beautiful vineyards and fields of various crops.
After a day of resting, the skins go through the sanding process to remove excess water. Skins will still be humid but are laid out flat, ready to be inspected for grain quality. Our team of inspectors check the hides one by one and follow strict guidelines to maintain quality consistency for all our products. Every skin is then stamped with a lot number. The next steps in the tanning journey are the splitting and shaving processes. The splitting process will generate a split hide, which we sell on the local market. This can be used as suede or laminated splits. The shaving process brings each hide to the correct thickness. Excess shavings are sold and recycled into bonded leathers, which are used for apparel, book binding and furniture. The skins are now ready for the dyeing and retanning process. These two processes also take place in drums. These steps will determine the color, softness and grain of the leather. This can take up to a day to complete. We strictly adhere to our recipes to maintain leather consistency.
After tanning, the skins will sit for 24 hours before moving on to the drying process. There are two methods we use to dry our leathers, vacuum drying and toggle drying. Vacuum drying is used to achieve a smoother grain. During the vacuum drying process, the leather is swapped onto a hot plate, which gets enclosed by a top plate that is cold. This creates a vacuum effect, sucking excess water out of the hide. After vacuuming, the skins are hung to air dry until they reach ideal humidity level. The alternate drying method is toggle drying. Skins are laid onto frames with toggle clips and stretched. They are then sent into an oven to dry to the ideal humidity level. This method is mainly used for softer leathers and leathers with a more predominant grain. We are sure to be very environmentally conscious during every step of the tanning process. This is a nearby stream which is habitated with the trout and the bacala. These are typical fishes in the Arzignano area. The next step after drying is the staking process. The staking machine essentially massages the leather, opening it up and making it rounder. Next is the buffing process. In this step, fine sandpaper is wrapped on turning cylinders pressuring onto the leather and consequently removing any green defects. This also helps the finish adhere better to the leather.
we move on to the embossing process. The hides are fed through an embossing machine that has different grain designs of choice. This machine uses pressure on the surface of the leather to indent the image of the cylinder onto the leather in a three-dimensional look. Now the leather is ready for the finishing process. The leather is placed on a conveyor belt and sent down the spray line. The spray line consists of a series of computerized spray guns that apply the finish on the surface of the leather hides. Last is the final milling process done to ensure the softness of the leather. Once the leather is finished, it goes through physical testing to make sure industry standards are met. The flexometer makes sure the finish does not crack. The wet rubbing test is to make sure there will be no color transfer. Next is the abrasion test, which is done if the leather is intended for automotive use. Lastly, the leather is color tested both visually under a light box and by a color computer. All leathers are also checked for UV stability. Once the leather passes all testing, the final step is ironing, measuring and one last inspection. All hides are measured and inspected individually to make sure they meet industry standards. During this inspection we check for hand feel, grain consistency, grain quality and thickness.
We have a passion for leather, and we take our leathers very seriously. Our passion, consistency, and emphasis on quality are three key factors that help us bring affordable luxury to our customers. All of our in-stock leathers are stocked in Floral Park, New York, and ready for immediate delivery. Here at the warehouse, we keep all hides on racks to minimize wrinkles. If you have any questions, please visit our website at OptimaLeathers.com or contact your local sales representative.